Luke, the final chapter. Can we look at the journal? I just want to clarify what day we are on and everything like that. Yes. Oh, look at all that new stuff. This is all the stuff from Ash. Mm -hmm. Ash. Um, a close call. Our what the fuck is this suit? <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh yeah, she dumped water on him. Mm -hmm. mm, Rebecca is dead, and we cried. And there was a ghost in the cupboard. Or armor, or wardrobe, whatever you call it. Oh yeah, her. Yeah. Zack died, we ate food in the park, we yelled at each other for a weird reason. Yeah. We hung out at the bar. With G, who sounds suspiciously like the chief, and doesn't like talking about it. I don't like talking about it. <laughs> talking about it. That's um, a terrifying <laughs> little face. Phone, phone image of Officer Renz. Yeah. Oh yeah, Zack's dead, so he yelled and screamed, and then we 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 pulled it up as an ultimatum to make Isabella stay in the bar. Mm -hmm. Like we're gonna go to the mansion, you stay here. And then somehow she didn't realize that How he did was you, leaving. Why didn't you tell me you're going to the mansion? <laughs> I told you what? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, she had no intention of stopping him. Right. Yeah, and then it's just like you, bro. You, yeah, anyway, so that that that's weird, we all agree. Ah. And Storm. S the storm had started in earnest. <laughs> um, and there was a weird laughing that led us into the woods, and then we fell into a trap door. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everyone in the mirror. Mirror. And we fought the butler. After we found crazy bloody hands lady. Charlotte? Yes. <laughs> I'm curious how she showed up, because we've never seen apparitions of anyone else aside from the apparent ghost lady that we've been dealing with the whole time, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So that's an interesting addition. Why'd she have blood on her hands? Because, mother, she did it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is. Uh, Take, so, I've done it, mother. Take me with you, please. When Isabella um, shot the taser at the butler, mm -hmm. it made it, the way they worded stuff made it also sound like she hit him with the rolling pin. Yeah, I think so. I wish we could have, like, seen it. <laughs> Yeah. Slap. Yeah, she smacked him. And then he said he loves her. I love her. you, and I'm like, uh, thank you for loving me, but so I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave here because my family needs me because instead of my father's death freeing me of this responsibility, I'm going to take on everything and not do what I want and not do what my father wanted, who wanted me to chase after my dreams and be an artist. Yeah, I'm not going to do like any that. of that. Yeah, I'm... What else? I don't know how much of that's contributed to the fact that all of her friends are dead. Except Ash. Eh. I don't know how much of that is because... I... Didn't... We didn't tell her. We told her it was dangerous in the mansion rather than that we were worried about her. Oh, if she would love him back Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> However, although thankful... Isabel was unable to return his feelings and turned him down. Mwah, mwah. Look at those weird smiles. Mm. Yeah, and we went through the door, and the doors led to the wrong rooms constantly. Which is also an interesting thing that doesn't make sense. Like, I'm mm -hmm. just not sure what this exact like haunting is. Like, what are what what are, what are we what are we what are we dealing with? Mm -hmm. <laughs> For something that's called the letter, the letter seems to be very Minor. small and unimportant. And then we found Luke. Why is there a weird line just like going ching? Oh, is that like supposed to be a shine off the gun? Going so. ching? <laughs> yeah. You made a very good sound for it, so. <laughs> What's next? 
Uh, yeah, the ghost at the top of the stairs. With his wife because in your hands. They probably didn't make different images. Like if Hana had died earlier, mm. we would still see the ghost, but they wouldn't. It wouldn't have Hana possibly. So like they don't have a separate drawing. Like mm. why wouldn't Hana be there? But anyways, let's learn about Luke. What's in his profile? Lucille Mitchell Wright. He's Lucille Mitchell Luke Wright. <laughs> He's 31. He's British. British? I would never have guessed. He likes bread pudding, dogs, wine, and absinthe. You know, playing daffodils. Money, women, and power. <laughs> A prostitute's son spent his childhood roaming the streets. No, I don't know keep, why keep going. Like that. No, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> roaming the streets, begging her pickpocketed in order to avoid home. Home meant a too drunk mother and her equally drunk clients. I feel like we've read this before. Some of whom would take to beating the child out of anger if he so much as looked at them wrong. I don't know. I guess we've heard about it from someone else talking about Luke. Like we knew that he was a prostitute's son. I, I don't, this doesn't seem familiar to me, but I have a terrible memory for things I don't deem important, so. Maybe I'm just that smart. But he was always in trouble. Go on. No. Go, I'm, enjo <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Go on. No. Oh, yeah, his mom died. Left him orphaned until his biological father. Mm -mm -mm. He was trained to inherit right enterprise. But along the way, he got mixed up with illegal activities. I'm sure, I'm sure he got mixed up in them. That put the company in a bad spot after his assistant ran off with a large sum of dirty money. Bankruptcy would have been inevitable if he hadn't married Hana. I like how his image is a glass of alcohol. <laughs> I guess I never the paid drawing. attention to anyone else's, yeah. Now what is it for everyone else? Ashton is a gun. gun. His sig. Uh, Rebecca's probably going to be a book. Yep. History book. Marianne. Oh, her cat. That's a, f um, um, it's a camera for Zach. Yeah, I think so. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hana, what would hers be? I don't know. Jewelry, okay. That was honestly my guess, but I didn't oh, know. Oh, it's it, with her blue heart necklace. Uh -huh. That, um, what's-his-face used identifier, because it's like, when we looked at, like, a picture. I don't remember. Isabella. Food. <laughs> Cinnamon rolls. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oops. Whoa. Oh, no. Back. No. To say that I'm scared of what's happening is a gross understatement. Trouble of any sort is the last thing I want to get home to after a long day at work and a trip to the bar. And when I see Hana near prostrate, what does that mean? I can only feel dread. Uh, I know, like, to prostrate yourself is like to lie on the ground. And, like, it's often used to describe, like, somebody that's, like, bowing to someone. Like, you lay down on, you, like, lie your entire self down on the ground type of bowing. Interesting. Mm-hmm. She twitches and seizes, body wound and coiled tight before trashing. Thrashing. Yeah, but that's not what it says. Shuddering and shaking. Like a woman possessed, her mouth falls open and her eyes roll to the back of her head. It has the hallmark signs of a seizure. The symptoms are similar enough. And that knowledge, the fact that I know this, only makes me feel worse. Any anger I had caused by our disagreement on parting ways. Okay, so we went back in time, probably. Mm -hmm. No matter how temporary she claimed it to be, disappeared. The alcohol-induced daze that I felt was brushed aside as I run to help her. Is this when she collapsed in the kitchen? That's what I'm thinking, I'm hoping. None of that mattered at the moment. Oh, good. But to hold her close is all I can do while she trashes about. <laughs> Maybe it means something that I don't know Maybe. that's supposed to mean. That's just weird. I know this is wrong, that I'm not supposed to hold her down, yet I do it out of instinct, reflex even. I'm terrified of hurting her, but I see no other way to keep Hana from hurting herself. It takes a lot to keep myself from running off to get help when she needs me here. And it takes everything I have to keep myself intact. When she says my name, I realize that the seizures have stopped, but that doesn't make the dread go away. <laughs> Please! What happened here? Who did this to you? I don't know. I'm so, so sorry. 
the sight of her tear-streaked face is enough to twist the knife in. It does not help that I am lost. I'm as lost as she is right now. And all I can say is... Shh, it's all right. You're safe now, Hana. You're safe now. It takes a bit to go through the house with my inebriated self. That's even made worse by the fact that I had to carry a nearly unconscious person as well. I was about to give up too until... Stroken? Sh shroken. 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 Yeah. It shows up to lighten the load. <laughs> he quietly takes her from me without question and brings her up to the bedroom. And me? Well, I couldn't bring myself to follow. Not right now. Not while I'm drunk and rattled by what has transpired. It's a miracle I was able to help at all. I had tried to get knackered, hoping to score another taste of mint while I was out in the city. Though I can't bring myself to go home with another woman in the end. Go, go into your basement. Hmm. She's there. If I did go with someone, it might have been too late. Just thinking about it. No one might have gotten to Hana in time had I not gone home earlier than I intended. So here I am, sulking in a parlor chair with a glass of wine in hand. I can't even remember what particular vintage it is, and I practically did not care right now. Interesting change of tense in that sentence. Hmm. <laughs> because when you're already drunk uh, and still have problems, even more alcohol should help. Uh, because when you're drunk. Alcohol. <laughs> I like how you said alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> Of course, the butler chooses now to appear and be unhelpful. You know what actually solves all problems? Death. Wow. But it is not recommended. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> Alcohol isn't a true solution, either. Isa. It's worked well enough for me. <laughs> yes, sir. I'd like to believe that I get my best ideas while I'm thoroughly hammered. Not everyone might agree, but they can't really do anything about it, can they? With a fuck ton of money comes great power, sometimes responsibility. Not a fuck ton, a fuck ton. Yeah, fuck ton. And with that responsibility comes a lot of reasons to get drunk. Of course, I can just tell responsibility to sod off if I was feeling reckless. And Christ, I might be really drunk if I'm thinking in circles. What? <laughs> He's drunk, I'm not sure this is supposed <laughs> to make sense. I just need something to focus on and I should be fine. How is she? Is she all right? His accent almost changed. He got a little more like... <laughs> if panic crept into my voice at the question, I don't let it show. It would be a show of weakness to be so frazzled. To show so much concern over a woman who's going to put me aside. She's your wife, dude. It's okay to be concerned. <laughs> People like him who work for me, I trust with my business, but not with myself. Never with that. Only Hana has come so close. Only she has truly seen the man beneath the facade. Only her actions can wound me so. Sleeping. Aside from a few bumps and bruises, she seems to be fine. A maid is watching over her for now. It is best not to leave her alone. But if I may ask, what happened? I was in the gardens when I heard screaming. Did you... Mm. No, it wasn't me! I'm quick to be on the defensive. I may be capable of a lot of horrible things, but I would never harm her, of all people, no matter how angry I might become. I would never lay a hand on her to hurt her. I, I didn't do anything. I wouldn't do anything like that. I don't even have a reason to. You don't consider her wanting to be a part as reason? It is it. Well, it is. I, I don't want to talk about it right now. Goodness gracious. Hmm. But what happens was I got her. She was seasoned in the kitchens. Is she ill? Not that kind of doctor. But I've already scheduled your physician for a house call tomorrow morning. What? We'll still have to monitor her as soon as she wakes up and... Oh God, things are coming back to me. I need a drink. Really? You're still drinking? Why, yes, it seems to be the bloody best time to be drinking. I'm allowed, aren't I? After all, I've just found my wife having a seizure, and I shouldn't give two shits about it. Not when she's about to leave me. But I do. Goodness, I do. A big, generous gulp. <laughs> Bien? 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 
Looks like an L. Bellman. Oh yeah. A big generous gulp just to make it so that the Bin taste of cherries. Uh, Bin, uh, I'm trying to read the second one. Bin, uh, <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> cherries, raspberries, and strawberries wash over my tongue. The thing too sweet considering its deceptively earthy aroma. A Velnay's vineyard seasoned red isn't really something to scoff at. I've had many good memories with this particular drink. This particular bottle, in fact, was a gift. Those are not V's on the bottle. Um. Vienna's Vineyard? I maybe, uh. Um. Well, well like in, re in Cyrillic, the letter that appears like a B in our um, alphabet is pronounced with a V. Hmm. Whatever. Anyway. I don't know. It serves the purpose Lady Blernol, Blernol <laughs> had given it to me for, to forget. <laughs> Say Blernol again. No. All the same, whether I took this bottle or a Pinot Noir, <laughs> it, is, Pinot Noir. it is just a means to an end. I will probably have to finish the whole bottle to get drunker than I already am. But no, she doesn't need to be taken care of. If she wants her time apart, she'll have it. It'll break my heart to just let her go, but she deserves this much, doesn't she? We both deserve this much. She's had her uses. Oh. She's done a lot for me in the seven years we've been together. I pursued her at first for the money. It was supposed to be strictly business. There might have been a time, too, when I considered taking her out of the picture so that I can do with the money as I pleased. Hmm. I'd planned to mani mani manipulate her, and I feel horrible thinking about it. But along the way, I had changed, if only for her. Perhaps my father would scoff, tell me I've gone soft. Maybe I have. Does it matter? Seven long years. It had its ups and downs and certainly hasn't been a perfect marriage. We had our fights. Who hasn't? But those small moments where we could just laugh and be our happy selves were always magical. They made all these years worth it. And I had seen many more years to come. So where did I go wrong? I've loved only two women in my life. Yep, mother dear, bless her soul. And Hannah, who has been my sunshine for so long. Oh, how cute. <laughs> my only sunshine. My rah, 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 rah. Losing her, I fear that I might become more like my father. Had Damien Wright stayed with mother or any of the other numerous women he's had a child with. Ooh. Would he have been less of an embittered shell of a man? Would having a darling love in his life made him a better person? Oh, yeah. Perhaps it is bias of me to doubt so. I don't think I can ever see the old man in a favorable light. I'm just surprised that you're not afraid. She might be leaving with delicate information. Oh, she might know something. But if she hasn't done anything with the knowledge for this long, I don't think she would do anything now. If she had even an inkling of what I've done, what I'm capable of, she'll know it's not a good idea. Hannah's a smart woman. Smart, kind, hardworking, generous, loyal. I can go on and wax poetic about her if I had any talent with this stuff. Why don't you sit down and have a drink with me? Don't worry, it's not poisoned or anything. Okay. Lonely? Oh, I suppose there's no harm. With a shake of my head, I procure another glass and pour some of the red wine. Watching the red liquid is fascinating all on its own with my muddled brain that I barely notice sloshing some of it and staining my suit. It'll be an utter bugger to clean, so I'm glad that isn't my problem. <laughs> Handing it over, I can't help but look up at the ceiling and let out a sigh. My eyes damp, blaze over, though I won't let it go farther than that. Foither. <clears throat> Raising my own glass for a toast, I clear my throat. Cheers for something or another. Great. <laughs> Perfect. Bravo. <laughs> Real wordsmith right there. A brat going away to college. A bonus at the job. Couples having it off. Those happy things, I suppose. <laughs> Whatever. I don't give a fuck. A bit less eloquent than your usual speeches, but... Zum Wohl. A sip. A gulp. Refill. 
Rinse and repeat until the bottle of Velne has barely a fifth left. I must have drunk most of it because I barely see... Brooken? Brooken? <laughs> Take a sip after his first glass. It certainly feels that way. I don't even think I can stand up, let alone walk. I'm all legless. Legless, legless, legless. That's what I was just thinking of, too. <laughs> the Lego. <laughs> yeah. Legless, Lego, legless, yeah. yeah. My mind just feels so funny, and everything else is equally hilarious. Bloody hell, I think I can make out faces of a bald man on the wallpapers. With the butler also standing up, he looks like a skyscraper from where I'm seated. Jesus Christ, I have Sasquatch as a butler! <laughs> <laughs> I have a great alcohol tolerance, so this... Seeing how I'm all giggling, I'm a giggling wreck right now is I'm, I assume, really bad. What am I saying? Okay, <laughs> whatever. It's okay, you're playing the part. Yeah. <laughs> if there is any sober part left to me, it'd probably shrivel up and die just thinking of the hangover that'll come in the morning. But I can't help but get distracted at the sight of moonlight peeking through the curtains, shiny and shimmery and absolutely splendid. Even if the night brought calm, it is she the moon. So tell me, princess, when did you last let your heart decide? Sorry. <laughs> it is the moon that always enamored me so. It is the second sun, but just as beautiful as my sunshine. I want to go out and look at the moon. <laughs> Mommy, I can't feel my legs. I just like the way he Jesus said moon. Christ. Muta, I am not. Uh, chill out, Johans. <sighs> Don't tell me I have to carry you upstairs to bed. You know, Hana, she, she told that photo man that I was a trying husband. I can't even. The nerve of them, right? He g goes and takes her out shopping, and they give me lip service in return. I bet they were talking shite while they were in the store spending my money. Am I a trying husband, Joe? I wouldn't know. You're not my husband, are you? We can arrange that. But you are a trying dumb cop when you are this drunk. Mint got me a bit into the whiskey, but other than that, uh, I've been trying real hard. You can vouch for me, right, Joe? I haven't put my hands on a pretty lady unless they ask me to. Not that I did that before, but you get my point, Joe. Hannah must be so tired. I'm a brat, aren't I? She said as such. I don't want Hannah to leave me, Joe. Oh god, she's the love of my life, you know? I'm a shiny human being without her. I should... Flowers. <laughs> lots and lots of flowers. All of the flowers. Enough to make the Queen's Gardens look like a fucking dumpster fire in comparison. All well and good. But you are not achieving any of that while you are lying on the carpet. <laughs> now, if you can lift your skinny ass and work with me... Eins? Zwei, drei. But Vier, I don't want to go to fünf. bed. The moon is so pretty tonight. I should just let you sleep on the ground, Bratwurst. Did he let him sleep on the ground? Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. Why does it say Luke? Come on, Mommy, wake up! Oh. I want to be in that play! Because it is Luke, apparently. Mommy, wake up! You promised that you'd help me practice my lines today. The auditions are tomorrow, so I have to practice. To the last syllable of recorded time. Hey. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools. The way to Dusty. A young Luke sounds an awful lot like his future wife. M mommy are you okay? I choke back a scream and wake up in a cold sweat. With my heart pounding in my ears, it takes a while to remember where I am. In the dark and cold of the room, one can't fault me for feeling ill at ease. It isn't as, as bright as the penthouse and the renovations did a little change how... what? Little to change how old it feels. <laughs> Excuse me, I had a hiccup in the middle of that one. <laughs> okay. We've been here for less than a week. It'll take a bit more time to adjust. It's hard to feel cozy, though, when I'm bloody freezing. Nudging the lump of fabric next to me, I sigh. Uh, it's cold. Don't hug the sheets, Hannah. 
She always did this, though. It hardly bothers me. Growing up, I was lucky to have something to use as a mattress. I'm not the one who grew up accustomed to Egyptian cotton with a thread count of 800. Besides, the warmth that Hannah exuded on her own is usually enough to keep me sleeping through the night. The temperature tonight must be something else with how chilly it is right now. I must be considerate, after all the poor dear is ill, though I loathe to think about what had just transpired. Don't make me pull those sheets off you. Oh, that blanket is large enough to cover an elephant. You need to share. It takes a while. What, what was that, honey? Apologies. I'm just in the loo, so if you can give me a moment. Mm. There's no sign that they'll be moving where they lie. What? With care, I go for a knife hidden under the side of my bed. It'd be foolish of me to instigate anything while I'm unarmed, after all. To pull back the covers would be a more difficult affair, because reaching out to uncover who is underneath, I have to prepare for anything and assume the worst. If I so much as see the nozzle of a gun, there's going to be a murder tonight. I know they say not to bring a knife to a gunfight, but I think I can sink a blade into his liver faster than he can point and aim. First of all, if someone wants to kill you, why would they get into bed <laughs> next to you? <laughs> and I'd wait for you to wake up to notice them. <laughs> yeah. I see the rise and fall of the sheets, though it could easily be... Bis- mm, it could easily be... Bizarre. <laughs> though it could easily be mistaken as the fault of the breeze. I hear their breathing. A great sense of foreboding comes over me, making me hesitate with my plan. Uh, can you imagine? I'm just picturing that he, like, won't pull the covers down and he'll just stab it. But obviously that's not what's going to happen. But, like, mm-hmm. it would actually be the ghost that was in the bathroom pretending to be his wife. And then he would, like, stab Hana. Mm. But, you know, that's obviously not what happens. I should just get Hana and myself out of here. Not look back and let security handle it. That's what they're there for. Very good idea. Or maybe I should just man up. There's no way I'm risking the chance that inaction will put Hana in danger. But what's the worst that could happen, right? I have no reason to be afraid. There's no boogeyman under the bed, no monster in my closet. If anything, these things should be afraid of me. Right? I grab a fistful of sheets and throw them aside. Yeah. That's terrifying. (laughs) Nothing. Oh. Nothing but a bunch of pillows stare back at me. Must be my my, 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 my. (laughs) Must be my my, my. What's a mad day? Must be my imagination. I'd rather not think I'm going mad. It could very well be the stress getting to me, all this drama with Hana. I've been doing well all these years, all things considered. I guess I do have a breaking point. But still, the world goes on even if one cannot, and I must go along with it. I suppose a day off or two tomorrow wouldn't hurt. Rest aside from a few hours of sleep will be welcome. More than. But I can't shake off the unease. I dare say that I feel afraid, irrationally so, that something will come creeping and crawling from under the bed, even as I lay back down and close my eyes. 